Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a farmer's market haul. It's a little bit of a different video but it's still um, kind of within the healthy um, eating, I guess, you know, topic. Um, so I went to my local farmer's market today and then I also went to a farmer's market that's about 15 minutes away. I thought I would try both of them to see what they had and please excuse this and this and all of it. I don't have any makeup on. I just, um, I took the dog for a walk this morning and then, um, I took a shower, obviously didn't wash my hair, but, um, and then headed over to the farmer's market. So I'm really into getting things locally grown. Um, ever since I kind of changed the way I've been eating, I've tried to, you know, add more fruits and vegetables, um, mainly vegetables. I have no problem with eating fruit. It's the vegetables that kind of get me every time. So um, I decided to get some stuff. So let me get into what I got. Um, oh, and just and a little FYI about the picture I'm going to be posting um, for the little like tag photo for this video it is of two Amish women they were selling all these baked goods and I didn't buy any my mom did but I didn't buy any they didn't have anything sugar-free obviously but um they it, it's always been my dream to like take a picture of an Amish person it's like on my bucket list and I finally 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 got a picture and these are new age Amish not old age Amish the old age Amish are ones who don't really like to deal with the general public um don't you know drive and as you see in the picture there's a scale um and then they had a van there but they did have a driver for them but anyway they did tell me that they were Amish so they're um, supposedly Amish, so I don't know. So I got my picture. Okay, so let's get into what I bought. I bought some salsa. This is Queen of the Jam, um, and this is black bean and corn salsa. It's very mild. She had a little tester thing out that I could test it. And the ingredients are tomatoes, peppers, onions, vinegar, sugar, uh, citrus juice, garlic, salt, spices, beans, and corn. And she had another one um, there without the black beans and corn, but she said that that one had more sugar in it. And this one had less, um, less sugar, like actual sugar in it. She said, you know, you're going to get sugar from the corn, which I understand. But um, I thought that this one would be really good. And this was $5 for 16 ounces. So I'm really into, you know, dipping the fat-free pretzels in salsa, um, dipping like fat-free Triscuits or, um, I don't know, any kind of fat-free crackers, you know, that just for a snack or whatever. Um, I'm really into that. So I'm glad I picked this up. And then um, I've been really into adding green peppers to basically anything that I'm eating, um, like a meal type preparation that I would make for like turkey, chicken, something in the crock pot. I usually dice one of these up or slice them up into long thin strips and add them. These were only a dollar each and as you can see they're like huge. And they smell so good and so fresh. So, and also the guinea pigs like these too. So I always, after I'm done dicing and slicing, I take the scraps and I just give them to the guinea pigs. And then I also got this onion, um, a white onion. Um, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but onions are very good for, um, respiratory for inflammation so people with asthma if you can get your hands on any type of fresh onion and cook with onions or add you know onions to your um burgers or you know your meals or anything go ahead and do that because onions are excellent for um inflammation so um i always you know try to cook with onions and then i got this huge huge bag of carrots this is a three pound bag of carrots for three dollars so that was a good deal um I'll just pull on out so yeah um I like making stews and stuff like that with carrots um um again in the crock pot so these will definitely be used up um, I'm definitely going to be giving some of these to the guinea pigs as well because I have not bought carrots in a long time so they have not had carrots in a long time. Um, I've been a bad, bad mommy, but um, yeah, so sorry about the crinkling. And then I got um, corn on the cob. 
Now I only got three ears because what I plan on doing is taking this and obviously shucking it first and then um, running a knife down and taking the corn off of the cob and before it's cooked and then either put it in the crock pot um, for a meal or I think I'm just going to take it all and freeze it in a freezer bag. Um, but this stuff, the guy said, was super, super sugary. Um, so I have to be careful about that. He said that it's like the really, really good stuff. And I will just open it up for you guys so you guys can see. It's like really good corn. So cannot wait for that. And then I just have one other bag here um, of my sweet onions. I am addicted to purple onions. Again, for inflammation, but I just love cooking with purple onions. It adds so much color and flavor to the dish, and um, I just really, really like it a lot. So um, that, so I got two bunches of these, and each bunch um, was a dollar. So got my purple onions, and I'm like, ever since I started going to farmer's markets, I have been addicted to purple onions. Um, if you guys think that's kind of a lot for me, it is. So what I do is I take them and I chop them, I pre-chop them up and then I just throw them in a freezer bag. So whenever I want to ground um, up my turkey meat or my chicken meat, what I'll do is I will just take a handful of frozen onions and, you know, throw them in the pan um, and it adds flavor. And like I said, for the inflammation for me, for my asthma or, um, you know, anything really that you have in your body, um, for inflammation it's really really good so so that is pretty much what I bought um again if you guys have any really really good like zucchini recipes I am kind of ashamed to admit this but I've never tried zucchini or like any of those weird vegetables um I really want to so if you guys have any recipes or any links of um, recipes or whatever, post them down below. And um, thank you, thank you so much. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.